Who? Dr. Danny Knowles. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the founder and originator of Mile High. I got to tell you, he's looking good. He's dressed up. He's uh, been working sharp. out. Absolutely. Uh, and he is going to join us now. I see Pam Jarbo's in the wings. She's in the waiting, so stay She's tuned for that. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have uh, right now a good friend uh, and fellow uh, colleague in chiropractic, uh, also a fellow member of the Board of Trustees of Sherman College of Chiropractic, uh, a member of the IFCO, and uh, an all-around uh, phenomenal game changer in uh, the chiropractic uh, the profession, specifically here in Colorado, because holy smokes, have we seen changes in Colorado since you launched this mile high. Danny Knowles, welcome to the program. Dr. Daniel Knowles, uh, we just interviewed your beautiful, talented, loquacious wife, <laughs> and uh, we informed her about her move to Crested Butte. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I got to tell you, we tried to convince her. <laughs> and I got to tell you, Danny, uh, this is probably one of the greatest events uh, out in the West, if not in the world, uh, Western United States. Could you tell us a little bit about what was the impetus for all this? Well, first, I have to say I am honored to have such a great introduction by such esteemed gentlemen. Here. Thank you for noticing. I, I, yeah. I, I'm really moved. Yes. Um, well, I'll tell you about the impetus for it. <laughs> yes. And please. it goes back a little bit. Mm -hmm. So some time ago, I was at a Sherman College board meeting. I'm on the board of trustees. Oh, is that yeah. right? Good. And so I was at one of those board meetings. I was wondering what you were doing there. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and something happened, which was there was this place that Sherman was at where the conversation at this time was that there's a certain piece of the chiropractic student pie, and we have to make sure that we get that piece hmm. and that it was a defensive we've got to just survive and hold on time and I didn't like that no I, I didn't either <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't like that and I and we we shifted things and we said you know what we've got to go on the offensive we've got to build and say louder than ever what it is that we have that is so great rather than be on the defensive and try to get crumbs. You got it. And so, and you can see what happened there. Holy Things been mm -hmm. going better at Sherman, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah I think we're moving in on, tr on tripling the enrollment since that point. Right. With, with the change in mindset and, and massive action. So from survival to thrival, and from being in a defensive position to going on the offense. Right. Right? And so we've had that situation here. And we kind of would joke about it. The problem would come up, and the Minutemen would assemble. The right. problem would come up, and okay, all the troops would show up and deal with it. Yeah, and reactionary. Reactionary, defensive. Oh, they, they want to get rid of us being able to use the subluxation station. Oh, we got to do something. Yeah. They want to get rid of us being able to do a particular technique or make it, you know, uh, right, experimental. To, to use x-rays, for example, analysis of x-rays, chiropractic analysis of x-rays. Right, you know, so n now we got to be on the defensive every time but to prove that we took x-rays, not we, me, but practitioners took x-rays to analyze subluxation, that right. there was a, the validity to that. Yeah. And I said, you know what, we just keep playing the same defensive game, and I want to do something to turn that around. Yeah and it's time to go on the offense, and let's be leaders rather than the opposite. Outstanding, so that is what was the impetus of that. That was happened. it, that and, was it. And that has created a huge shift here, uh, because it, it's very interesting when, uh, of course, when you're the, the lone voice in a state, right? Or, and not, right. Not, that's not your case, it was, there's a lot yeah, of other yeah, great yeah, yeah. people in the state. But when you're a voice in the state, and then you bring in the cavalry from all the rest of the uh, country and right. world uh, with you, that creates this dynamic of, wow, we're not alone. There is a lot of us, and actually, right. we're in the majority. If we would just stand up and start getting involved in the things right. uh, that maybe we've been lax in, for example, political component, for example, the educational component of, of chiropractic, right. uh, for example, the state boards and right. such, you can actually make the shift because right. all the things we don't like about the profession, somebody who's our colleague has created. So right. if we want to change that, we can stand up, get involved, and right. actually change it to the way we would like it to be. And, the, the, the silent majority. And there are things that we have to work on to do that. And there are things that we share in common. Yeah. And we, we, the, the subluxation 
oriented practitioners. I'll use the word oriented. I don't know if that's the best word to you. The subluxation oriented practitioners have to have a place where we say, hey, what? We, we have these things in together common in our philosophy, mm. you know, which is subluxation, universal intelligence, innate intelligence, that, that, is, that the subluxation is a significant obstruction to a person's ability to thrive. And that with our hands, um, with our beings, we, you know, alter that, we reduce that, we correct that, restore it so the person can function appropriately. That that's the focus of what we do, um, and that we can come. We may have differences, but we can come together on that and lead. Thank you. I think you. it's simple. We may have differences, but that's no reason to annihilate one of the other, right? I exactly. Mean, live and let live. You know, whatever you want to do, uh, that's legal, of course. Go ahead and do it. But here's the thing. As we There's say, a lot of things legal in Colorado. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> as, they'd say, as, they, as they would say in uh, New Hampshire, live free or die. As they would say in uh, some other state, don't tread on me. Do you know what state that is? Is that I don't know Vermont? That is, okay, right. good. Pam Jarvo. I'm asking Pam Jarvo for, for, for state flag mottos. Well, okay, yeah. great. <laughs> we do fun with flags. Yeah. We do fun, fun with, with flags. flags. We'll, do, we'll be doing a version of fun with flags later with Pam Jarvo. Uh, but, but yeah, don't tread on me, you know? And that's the, that's the whole thing. This is what's happened. Uh, to, as you would say, the subluxation-oriented chiropractor. Right. Here you are, you got your head down, you're checking for vertebral subluxation, you're adjusting when necessary, and you're letting life express itself optimally. People are telling you how great this thing about chiropractic is, you're enjoying it, you're seeing families, kids, mm -hmm. right? And then all of a sudden, somebody knocks on your door, and this is what I've heard, you right. know, you, uh, hello, you need to present yourself before the state board. Why? What did I do? I'm just taking care of people. Right. Okay, and you get there, uh, uh, Dr. Knowles, why did you take this x-ray? Well, I, I practiced Gonstead, and I was doing the, my Gonstead analysis on the x-ray to determine the listing of the subluxation, and they're going... But wait, the person didn't hurt there. Right, and they're going, <laughs> and, and they're saying, sublimation? What did you say? I don't know. <laughs> What's that thing? What are you talking about? And then, Dr. Knowles, right. don't you know you should be only taking x-rays for a medical pathology? And I'm like, whoa, I thought I was a chiropractor over right, here. Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and instead of being defensive about those situations repeatedly repeatedly it's time for the subluxator subluxation oriented practitioners to be on the offensive to lead to do what we do deepen our philosophy strengthen our vision and build our strategies and do that and we have a lot of commonality more than differences yes and so mile high has kind of been a catalyst then to move the political conversation uh, yeah. back to uh, an inclusiveness of detection analysis and correction of vertebral subluxation and all that that entails. Right. Now, look, there's a lot of camps, you know, within this. We don't need to list them, but there's a lot mm -hmm. of different camps. And all these different doctors are in their different camp within the state, within other states. They hang out with the upper cervical practitioners, the full spine people, and you go through all the different consulting variations. Sure. But you know what? Hey, we can work together, and together we can achieve more when it's something important. Mm -hmm. And let's not just do that on the defensive when our individual office might be in concern or something like that. Let's lead. And so that's exciting because, you know, I remember you asked me to come out here uh, a while back. Or I think I was out speaking here for some right. reason four or five years ago. Right. And, and we got done with the meeting there. And I was like, oh, my gosh, Danny, this this. Colorado's a mess. What the heck happened here? Right. You know, and like within a, within days, Danny just says, "Yeah, what the heck did happen here? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do That's something enough. about this." And it's it's kind of like, you know, uh, Donnie Epstein always says, you, "You don't change your paradigm." until you feel enough pain, right? Right. Uh, you know, that's, that, that's kind of was the, the right. breaking point. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, you can say, look, enough is enough, not on my watch, yeah. right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. we're gonna create a movement, not a seminar, not an event, not a weekend, but a movement that practitioners can, regardless of their other camps, we can all be remember that first and foremost, we're chiropractors. That's right. And one of the things you noticed, Danny, and we've yeah. had this conversation, is that just like Sherman used to be in this you know, fight or flight mode, this survival right. mode, the profession and the chiropractic professional has also been in this lack mode, this uh, fight or flight, this, hey, I'm just trying to survive. Don't, be, don't ask me to be involved in politics or be involved in the educational process. I can't even make a living over here. One of the things that you've been very, very particular about with the Mile High movement is bringing on speakers that not just present a, a fluff or a spizzerinctum fest, which right. is valuable and which is important, 
but also real world tips, tools, and strategies right. that they can use in their practice to generate a greater level of abundance and serve the people that they're serving in their practice at a higher level. Look, all chiropractors have to make a bigger impact in their practices in their community. I don't care how many people you're seeing, there's more people in your community right. that can use help. And you have ways of expand. And there's chiropractic new graduates that, that need places to be, be able to work and adjust people. The, there's a limitless possibility for people that need chiropractic care. There's not a shortage of people that need care for their spines. The last I Very checked. True. Very you true. You know? So we can all impact on another level. So we want to have a program, an event, um, a weekend where people get information that will help them strengthen their time, you know, their impact in their community, that they can, they can do more, they can give more, they can make a bigger difference in not just the four walls of the office, but of their office, but outside the four walls of the office, you know, politically. Yeah, you know, I think one of the things that's exciting is, is to watch the people as they come back year after year, the level of abundance that they have is growing, yes. and they're bringing more people with them. Have you yeah. noticed that? I mean, is it, I did notice mm -hmm. that, and now they've got two offices. Yes. Now they've got mm -hmm. there's eight people coming mm -hmm. instead of two. Yeah, right. And let's talk a little bit about the students too. How do you see that grow since over the years? This well, this year we have nearly a hundred students wow. coming. And, and by the way, there's not a chiropractic college close to here at all. It, <laughs> That's what they There's not a Colorado college? Apparently. <laughs> I, I thought know, there was. Spears shut down, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, uh, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, there are people driving in. Uh, you look in the social media. They're driving across through mm -hmm. Logan and from mm -hmm. Palmer and from Northwestern. Parker. Um, Parker, Sherman. TCC, Sherman, Life West, Life West, LACC, Life. yeah, New York all. Chiropractic College, all, National, uh, all Northwestern. All. I, had, I had people Western asking States. me to get letters yeah. so they get off from school. Yeah, yeah. You know, nice. if you need any, I can write. I can write a few of them. I, uh, I'm on a first name <laughs> basis with most presidents. Well, <laughs> yeah. I understand that. Yeah, I thank you. That. So, so the thing is, that's not just about the practitioner now, but the future of chiropractic. Because mm -hmm. today's right. students are the future of our profession and we have to nurture their growth in chiropractic philosophy science art strategy vision so that way they can uh, pick up you know keep the ball going yeah absolutely and that's what we're, we're gonna be talking with uh, Matt McCoy uh, later on in the program mm -hmm. or, or tomorrow I think he's on right uh, today Oh, he's on today. Okay, later on in the program, yep. and talk about some of the challenges that students are facing in the chiropractic profession today, and and certainly uh, what an opportunity it is for students to come hang out with some of the greatest chiropractors on the planet, and they're so accessible. You know, I was talking to your wife before, and she doesn't, of course, she's humble and she doesn't realize it, but a lot of people look up to her, you know, and think, oh my goodness, I could never go talk to Dr. Rochelle Knowles, you know, right. and, and right. she's just like, oh yeah, here's my phone over here, right. call me anytime you need me, you know, like Facebook message well, me. I mean, that's the, the accessibility uh, to the great minds of chiropractic can uh, only help your practice and can only help your future. In, well, and that's another thing we did. That's why, and I don't know anybody else who does this, yeah. and uh, I just came up with it, which we have that student panel. Mm -hmm. So Friday night, and you you were on it last, last year, year yeah. right? And, yeah. And uh, yeah. we have six doctors, six practitioners that are there to answer questions of students. And uh, in a form open that they could just, you know, ask the things that they need to um, know to be able to get themselves ready to go into practice. And here's the interesting thing. That went for hours. It did. People it did. loved it last year. It did I was because talking you... with so many of the students last year, and they were saying that was one of the highlights That's of right. the whole entire uh, event. The whole event. Mm -hmm. Because you created an environment, Danny, which is very unusual in the chiropractic mm -hmm. world, uh -huh. where it's safe to ask any question, right? Right, right? A lot of times in the chiropractic world, you ask a question and you get, uh, you know, you get your gluteus maximus <laughs> you know, reamed. Right. And so, and so they, they felt safe and the questions were very good that the students right. were asking. They were very deep right. uh, and they were very questions that I know we've all had. And right. that's what I think students don't realize a lot of times that we've had those same questions when we were students right. as well. Absolutely. And, and if you don't have access to, to mastery, uh, to people that are masters in the profession, how on earth are you going to get the answers to the and question? And you don't want to get it uh, after you've lost a few hundred thousand dollars uh, trying to obtain the answer. Right. And, and it, I think if I heard right, it went to like one in the morning. Or something it did. Like that. It went, it went to one to, in the morning. Absolutely. That's right. And, and people are going. And the other interesting thing about it is, doctors stayed. Doctors said they got more out of that 
than mm -hmm. you know than they had expected. Um, we're doing that again. I guarantee you, more yeah. doctors are going to stay for that this year. And not only that, um, you know, we want to keep the student focus. So we're only letting students ask questions because mm -hmm. we don't want it okay, to go good, into another good, direction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Doctors are staying in the room, hanging out because they, hey, we can never stop learning, right? That's right. right. You know, a constant, never-ending improvement. But the questions are only going to come from the students. And before we move off the topic, there's yeah. us people watching around the world. Oh, uh, okay. John, John from the UK has a specific question for you. For me? Oh, hi, for John. You, student. Hi, John from the UK. He says, uh, with so many students attending, what's one thing that you would recommend or talk with them if you were t giving them advice? What could you share with them? What one thing would I tell students? Here's what it is. You're a chiropractor now. Don't wait until you graduate and have DC after the, your name to think, now I'm a chiropractor. Good advice. Yeah. You're a chiropractor the moment you decide to go on prereqs. Mm -hmm. And at that point is when you need to take the time and put your head in the green books. You need to go to seminars. Mm -hmm. Seminars, when you're a student, they're, they're you know, a, a quarter of the price. Yeah. You know, go to them. Mm -hmm. Get get help. We have a student travel fund with people that are coming here. Um, you know, we to help out students, and a lot of doctors donated a lot of money to help students get there because doctors want to help students. They know they're the future. Um, when you're in clinic, don't sit in clinic like I got to meet my numbers. I got to get my quota. That always irked me when I was a student because mm -hmm. it's like the doctor's like, oh, how much do I get? To get how many people I have to see to pay my mortgage? Right. Oh, I hit that. Right. I got my car payment. I can go home. I don't have to do the screening or whatever yeah. it is that I'm doing. Right. No. We, you act now like you're a chiropractor and that you want to see as many as po people as possible, the best clinical skills that you can while you're in clinic. Absolutely. Because that behavior is going to carry over to practice. Of course. And if you do the behavior of, well, I, I got to see, I, I got my 20 adjustments, or I don't know, whatever the quota is, I'm done. Guess what you're going to do in practice? The minimum. Yeah, you do the <laughs> same thing in practice as you do in the game. That's right. So, you know, if you're in school, be in the game. You yeah. know? Yeah, the hits keep on coming, Danny. Yeah. We got uh, Josh from LCCW. All right. Uh, so wishing I was there at this event. It's on my calendar for next year. Awesome. Hi, Josh. Way to go. You guys are rocking. That's Life Chiropractic College West. Yeah. 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 We have Marcy Sue McKenna watching the show. Oh, there's Marcy. And she says, this is going amazing. Great work, Tours. And all we right. have Hi, Marcy. an all-star chiropractor watching from New Jersey, Bobby Tarantino. Hey! Whoa! Hey! Hey, hey Bobby! <laughs> <laughs> He's saying uh, he wishes that he could be here. He has other issues uh, going on at the well, moment. Just, Bobby, Bobby, um, the chocolate's great here, so I'm yes. sorry you're missing out. Absolutely. <laughs> Bobby, I, I'll tell you about the Utes, and it's not the youths. It's the Utes is a, uh, a Native American tribe uh, oh, here, yeah, yeah, here yeah, in, the, in this region, Bobby. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about Three it when I get back to Jersey. The Utes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good, uh, Danny. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're a you're a, a big supporter of the IFCO. Why is that? All right, because the IFCO is the only, mm. and you can capitalize that. Okay. And you can underline it. All right. <laughs> End quotes. <laughs> okay. International organization that is for the delivery of subluxation centered chiropractic care in a non-therapeutic model. Wow. I don't know of any other. Yeah. And that's what chiropractic is. Mm -hmm. So I feel the car I've been, I was an FSCO member since, as a student. Um, I got some award unsung here or something going to all the triune seminars back in the day. You deserve it. And yeah. I did, I did yeah. deserve it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm, I probably ate the most chips at the bar or something like that. But, <laughs> but, but going Buffalo to those and, and a member of the IFCO all, all this time. Be, and it's the, only, you know, it's the only organization that I am a member of because it represents my values for chiropractic and the values that I want to see happen across state boards and across the profession yes. and internationally. So, you know, you have to support the groups and organizations that are alignment and values. If you're, if you're an, uh, an anti-vaccination person, say it's, if you're, you know, not, you're not, you're, you're an anti-vaccination person, you want freedom in that area, and you're not going to go to D.C., and you're not going to go and do marches or something like that, guess what? You should be a member of the National Vaccine Information Center and support what they're doing. That's right. You know? Yeah. And if, if you are for 
chiropractors delivering subluxation oriented care, not for pain treatment, not for um, insurance, not for chasing accidents, but because in and of themselves, subluxation is a detriment to their health. Even if maybe you, that's not the whole focus of your practice, right. but you're facing that direction, right. then you need to support an organization that's working to do that. Well, and that's, that's a very good point that you make, Danny, because there's a lot of uh, chiropractors that do other things besides uh, uh, detection, analysis, uh, and correction of vertebral subluxation. They say, oh, well, what, this, this organization is not for me? You know, I'd say to them, uh, my response to that would be, well, if they take the vertebral subluxation away from you, then what do you have? Just that other stuff. And, and that's good stuff. But that's not chiropractic, you know. So what are, what are you going to do as a chiropractor if they take away your ability to detect, analyze, and adjust vertebral subluxation? Right. Why? What is your unique selling proposition on the planet? What's your unique reason for being here? Exactly. None. And, and, and as Tom Gilardi, mm -hmm. you know, the founder of Sherman College, used to say, you know, uh, the vertebral subluxation, the detection, analysis, correction of vertebral subluxation, that's not the end all, be all of health, right? Health is nutrition. Health is a positive mental attitude. Health is uh, exercise, you know, health is a spiritual component. All kinds of contributing factors. All kinds of contributing factors. And Dr. Tom Gilardi would say, however, chiropractic, their role is to play one of those contributing factors to health, which happens to be mm -hmm. one of the most important factors because without a nerve system that is free from interference, you're not going to get the best benefit or value from all those other things that I Absolutely. just mentioned. Absolutely. And here's, a, here's an interesting quote from Steve Jobs. And, and I'm oh. not I'm not a Mac user, I'm, I'm a PC user. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah, I am. I didn't know there were any of those people left. <laughs> <laughs> However, I have a, a, a tremendous respect for Steve Jobs and the work that he's done. Thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and he's known for this quote, which is, "I would rather I would rather gamble on our vision than make a Me Too product." Love it. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Let's work on our vision. Yeah, there's Me Too products. You may have some of them in your office. It's, it's okay. We love you. Let's work together on our vision. And that's the common vision that we share is that, right. that the, I mean, imagine this vision. I mean, this is the, the idea is that every man, woman, and child on the planet has the ability to be checked for vertebral subluxation and adjusted when necessary from birth. Mm -hmm. What kind of planet would we be living on? Obviously, people would be making better choices about their nutrition, right. better choices about, uh, you know, better mental attitudes, better uh, exercise habits, uh, you right. know, better spirituality. It, it, but the folks on this planet are not aware of even that that service exists. Right. And many of them go to see chiropractors and are, st <laughs> <laughs> and are still not aware of it. You know, so, I know. So we have, we have a lot of work to do. Well, and, I think and, that's, <laughs> and think about this. What you just said, yes. the result of that would be we'd be living in a world where people would be experiencing life through a healthy nerve system. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be a different world. Thanks for making that happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bed now. <laughs> Danny, we're running out of time on this segment, but before we go, let's share one last thing about okay. Mile High uh, sure. for the audience, the viewers watching. Uh, what what can we tell with them, the ones who are not here now, what's in it for them? Why should they be here? Why should they be here? Because this program is about three things, okay? Deepening your understanding of the philosophy. Growing your vision. And developing your strategies. Wow. That's a, that's a, that's a triple. Yeah. That is. Win, win, win. That's what it is. And I don't know of anywhere else you can work on all three of those things at the same time. And it's focused on vitalistic, non-therapeutic, subluxation oriented care. Well, I can tell you this. I don't know many other places on the planet that offer that. Uh, and Mile High, which is one of the reasons Frank and I drop mm -hmm. everything uh, in August, uh, the second week in August, and we make our way out to the promised land here of Crested Butte, and then we come down, <laughs> then we come down to you know here to, the, <laughs> to the people suffering in Boulder, and, you know, and, we, and we and and we put on this uh, this IFCO television. Uh, Danny, I got to tell you, what an event that you run! It's first class. Mm -hmm. It is congruent. It is integritous, and it is passionate about the vision 
of every man, woman, and child on the planet, checked for vertebral subluxation and adjusted when necessary from birth, and giving people the tools, tips, and strategies that they need to bring that about on this planet. Because we can talk, talk, talk in ethereal, uh, in an ethereal fashion, mm -hmm. but until we make it practical, that vision is not going to take place. And you're, I know in your personal life, you're about massive, persistent action, and you bring it to Mile High every year and, with your entire family. And here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I walked into the exhibitor room. Yes. Mm -hmm, and I just, just before I came on this show with you fine gentlemen, I walked into the exhibitor room and the first thing I saw, and I didn't, I, I didn't know how it was set up. I saw the Foundation for Vertebral Subluxation Research. Yeah. I saw Cairo Futures. Yeah. I saw Shula Vision. I saw IFCL. Mm -hmm. I saw ICPA. It was Sherman. Like, just Sherman. Just as soon as I walked in, yeah, I said, right. this is it. This is home. Yeah. And I want people that aren't here, you know, to, that are here, first of all, welcome home to chiropractic and, you know, come home to visit us next year. Yeah, because I'll tell you this, uh, and, I, you know, what I was saying to Frank before, mm -hmm. I get invited, uh, Danny, to be on uh, almost every stage on the planet, chiropractic stage on the planet. I can tell you this, folks, if you're watching at home, if you haven't checked out Mile High, you really should do it because you are going to be amazed at the difference, the uniquity is the word that I just made up. I like that. The uniquity of this I'm program. Use that. Yeah, well, that's a great one. Uh, just please it credit won't be me. Unique anymore. <laughs> uniquity <laughs> uh, of this program. The uniqueness of this program is something that I know you're going to love because just like in other events, yes, you are going to get spiz. In other events, you're going to get uh, you know some tips, tools, and strategies. This is chock full. And by the way, with some of the real greats and some of even the controversial people that other stages won't allow these people or person on, uh, you know, you have them here because you say, hey, let's forget about the controversy. What we want is, is results. Yeah. And, and we want results totally. for the profession. Absolutely. So if you can bring results, you're welcome at mile high. And I'll tell you, if you want to have better results, then you should be at mile high. Bring your, bring your team as well. Because yeah. gosh, I saw a lot of team members walking around today, a lot of CAs from yep. different doctors. Mm -hmm. And to see that look in their eye, bing, you know, yeah. like, wow, what a, what a practice that's like. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. this is what some doctors do. They, they go, with eight team members here. Some doctors, you know what they do, Danny? They go to these seminars and they come back with all these new ideas and ready to implement. And the CA's like, what? I wasn't at the seminar. I don't, what are you yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah, like, right. oh, oh, all right. right. Exactly. And then you got to drag them into the, into your vision. Why right. don't you bring them on board the vision? I got to tell you, you're gonna. The bigger the vision, the bigger the life you're gonna have. I got. Are we, are we done? Are we done? Is someone else coming on? Uh, absolutely. We have okay. Dr. Pam Jarbo coming up next. All right. So Frank's I got to do one thing, but just yeah. before we go here, all right. While well, while we're on IFCO TV, we just have to just have to do this right here. Ah. Okay. There you go. Great. Now, would you mind if I get one? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Frank? Absolutely. Here we go. That looks weird. <laughs> All right. Go. Sorry oh, about that, great. people at home. <laughs> very good, very good. Thank you. Th <laughs> thank you for... I just want to get the folks at home, please wave. I'm going to... Or Thumbs let's up. do a high pie there at home. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, thank you. Appreciate that. All right. Danny, thank you so much for coming thank on the you, show. Thank you. For thank yep. you for creating the CNN of chiropractic. Uh, it, it's fun. It's yeah. great. And, and it's what valuable. I love you, bro. Love you, too. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you for all you do. Appreciate thank you. Thank you for your inspiration. Thank you. Yes, and thank you for leaving some food left in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, by the way, the buffaloes are back on the extinction. Yes, <laughs> 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 yeah, so list. Wow. Endangered list. Okay. That was awesome. For, Frank, have we, have, we eaten, uh, have we eaten more buffalo and elk than anybody on the planet? I, I, I think, think so. I holy think. smokes. We even had some for lunch today. That's right. We <laughs> buffalo burgers. And I got to tell you, the food here at this hotel is absolutely fantastic. That's what I'm Danny knows when he does something, he mm -hmm. does something, he does everything he does. His first class, it's top notch. And that's what, this hotel is fantastic, right? Mm -hmm. we, yeah, we just absolutely. checked into our hotel room. It's mm -hmm. luxurious, but at a reasonable rate, because Danny's a hard driver. He's, 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 he's doing the, uh, you know, the negotiating. Mm -hmm. He's the negotiator. Yeah. So a great rate on the hotel room absolutely. for a beautiful place. The food is outstanding. And I'm telling you, this area, we were talking to Peter and Patty, Patty uh, Peter Kevorkian and Patty Giuliano, right, mm -hmm. today? Yep. And they were going hiking up in the Red Rocks. Absolutely. You can come up and look over Boulder. Oh, it's so gorgeous. you got to get here, folks. It's going to be fantastic. Fantastic. And you can do what we did. We took a couple extra days before the event. That's what I we know did. Dr. Pam Jarbeau did that as well. Yeah.